In this video, I am going to show you how to build a rag powered AI agent by using Llama Index through AI on Google Colab for free. When we say rag powered AI agent, what it means is that we will be getting data from an external source and then we will be using the power of AI agents to work together in a complex environment to generate information in the context of our own data from the large language models. Llama Index is a simple data framework which enables you to build your large language model applications in the context of your own data. Whereas Crew AI is a agentic framework that enables you to create and build AI agents as per your own customizable tasks. I have already done quite a lot of videos both on Crew AI and Llama Index. So if you're interested to learn more, please search the channel and you should be able to do it. You can integrate various models with Crew AI, including API based such as OpenAI, Gemini, and there are heaps of others. And you can use it with Olama and other open source software locally. I have done videos with both of them. So if you're interested, again, please search the channel. For the purpose of ease, I'm just going to use the OpenAI's model here just to use the API. But of course, if you already have Crew AI running with Olama, that should work as is with this code. The code which I'm going to use for this video, I will be putting it in my blog and you can access it. From there, I will drop the link in video's description. Now, let's go back to Llama Index. And one final thing which I want to tell you is that in this video, as an example, what I will be doing it, I will be just using a fictitious finance.csv file which contains the data about products, their sales in the regions, in countries, year wise. And I just grabbed it from the web. You can use your own data, you can use your own agentic software, you can use your own task. And I will show you how it easy it is to build these sort of things. You don't have to really know a lot of coding or AI to build your rag powered agentic application and when we say rag rag stands for retrieval augmented generation the word is complex but the idea is quite simple you see these llms they only know about the data which they have been trained on they don't know about your data if you want to give the context of your data to these llms you you use rag so that is what rag is again if you want to learn more about technical details please search the channel and you should be able to find a lot of stuff let me take you to my Google Colab. Let's get cracking. Let's ins install some of the stuff first. I'm just going to install Llama Index, Crew AI, and then their integrations. So this is another beauty of Llama Index is that you can integrate a lot of stuff with it. If you want to know what integrations are available, you can go to this llamahub.ai and you will find a lot of integrations there with vector stores, with embeddings, extractors, indexes, LLMs heaps of them are there okay so things are getting installed let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long almost there everything is installed nice and clean let's go and import this stuff which we have just installed and i'm just importing os crew AI and all that stuff that is done too now I already have uploaded my finance.csv file. Let me quickly show you. So if you click on this folder icon on the left, you will see that I have uploaded this file. If I double click on it, it is going to open it on the right hand side. So this is a file I was talking about. Let me show you. In this one, you see there is a segment that comment, middle, country, and then there are a few products. There are some discount, unit sold, sale price, profit, date, month, and towards the end there is year so it is a quite a comprehensive file which includes around 700 rows i believe yeah you can see there are 700 entries here so this is what i'm going to use as a sample you can use your own file if you like so this is where i have already uploaded it if you want to upload it in colab simply click on this up upward arrow and you can upload your file okay so let me clear it let's grab this file so this is another beauty of Llama Index. You see, I'm just using this simple directory reader, which we have imported from Llama Index, and I am just inputting this finance.csv file here. So let me run it, and that is done. So file has been loaded here. 
you can also check the content of that file simply do something like doc0 get context that is just a list and you see this is some of the data which it has pulled through cool and now we have our data now we need to set up our large language model which we will be using for that as i mentioned earlier if you're using true ai which we will be you can use any open source or api based for the ease of use i'm going to go with my open AI's model for that you would need to go to platform.openai.com from there you would need to grab your api key and that is a paid option so i already have grabbed my key and then i have uploaded it or saved it as a secret in the google collab click on this key icon on the left and you will see that my open AI's api key is already set and i have made it available to this collab by clicking here if you just click here it won't be available to this notebook if you just toggle it it is available now let me close it and this is how you can set it as an environment variable in this google collab so let me run it and it will be set in this open ai underscore api key environment variable and now let's set our llm with this information so here i am using gpt 4o you can use gpt 4 or gpt 3.5 but i believe that for the analysis work gpt 4o is really sublime so that is why i am just instantiating this um, open as gpt 4o and it will grab the open as api key from the environment and then i'm just using this vector store to put in my documents in and then i'm creating an index and storing it in my query engine so that this will convert this all document which i uploaded into numerical representation or vector it is going to store it in this vector store and then we can do the similarity search as we like and this is where we have built the index on top of it with this llm and that is done and now you can build your own query tool so as you know this all of these ai agents they work on tools so agent is an autonomous entity which uses functions or tools to grab some external data for you so we have just defined a tool and we are telling it that your name is this finance query tool and then description of this tool is that this is going to look up the financial data of products and their sales so let me run it and that is also done now let's define the crew ai's agents and tasks and this is how you can define agents so quickly so let me walk you through so first i'm defining an agent called as researcher so the role of this agent is that it is a senior market analyst the goal of this agent is to uncover insights about product sales trend and then i'm giving it a bit more context that you work at a market research firm and your goal is to understand sales pattern across different product categories verbosity true delegation false it means that it won't hand it over to any other one and it is going to use our query tool which we have defined above here and then there is another writer agent which will which is going to produce the content on the basis of the research which the above agent has done now the first task is for this researcher agent the first agent which we defined to analyze the sales data the second task is that uh, whatever the insights have been provided then write a full blog post of at least four paragraph the writer agent and then we have defined a crew or team which is based on these two res agents researcher and that writer both have these task one and task two and then we can set it to verbosity at different logging level so let me run it it is going to create it it has created it in a jiffy and now in order to run it all you need to do is to do result is equal to crew dot kickoff and then print so as soon as you run it it is going to execute the chain and these agents will talk with each other it is calling that uh, finance query tool it is going through the data you see that it has already has started checking the sales data for top five products and then sorry let me scroll up it just keeps going down okay here so you see it going uh, these are the top five products sales wise it seems and then there is a thought of agent that i have gathered the sales for top five products and then i will summarize it now analyze the data to identify any significant trends and it has garnered some of the insights and then there's a conclusion that chain finished these are the top five sales and the insights there and then another agent has started it is into uh, the thought is that i can now give a great answer by best complete 
final final answer to the task is this it has written the blog post the title is really compelling riding the wave and then it has produced this amazing blog post which you can of course put it in the markdown and there you go it has put it in this markdown too how good is that and then it is again uh towards the end it has given us this complete answer so this is a chain of thought which agent has followed so you see two agents they worked hand in hand on a complex task we have integrated an external crew AI framework with our external own data custom data and then we have also used llama index to build a data framework around our data and then by using all of these tools we were able to build an end-to-end amazing agentic application powered by rack so that's it as i said i'm going to drop the link to the code in my video description play around with it and let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thanks for watching